Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Garmin Instinct 2 tutorial video. In this video, I'll be doing an overview of the navigation features on your Garmin Instinct 2. So to get started with showing you the navigation features on the Garmin Instinct 2, the first thing I'm gonna show you is save location. So this will use GPS on the watch to save the current GPS coordinates of the watch. And you can easily get to save location by holding down the GPS button on your watch for a couple seconds. As you can see, once you do that, it'll go into acquiring satellites. So it's best to do this outside where you don't have a lot of cover above you. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna find the GPS satellites and then come up with your coordinates as well as your elevation, things like that. All right, so once it completes, and that took about a minute indoors, you'll be able to save the location. It'll give you the position in coordinates. And then as you can see, it's got the altitude at the bottom. To save that, all we need to do is press the GPS button one more time. And then as you can see from there, it'll save it and it will give it a name where we can edit it by hitting the down button. And you can go through and change not only the name and the icon that's displayed on the map, you can also go in and edit the coordinates. After that, you can also edit the elevation and delete the location if you want to. One quick thing about save locations, this is actually a pretty cool feature. I think it's good for maybe saving a trailhead on a hike so you can always navigate back to it, as well as maybe your campsite and different points of interest, maybe your home or something like that where you could use the watch to navigate if needed. Once we have a save location saved on the watch, we can actually navigate to that by using the navigation app on our Garmin Instinct 2. And we can do that by hitting the GPS button just once very quickly. And then you just need to scroll down until you see navigation. All right, there it is right there and select it using the GPS button. So once we get into navigation here, we have several different options to use GPS on our Garmin Instinct 2. So first we have back to start, and really this can be used when you're in an activity. So maybe you're on a run or a hike and you wanna go back to where the activity started, it'll navigate you there. And you'll have two different options. One, which will have you follow the actual path that you took, so it'll keep you on the trail. And then also you'll have straight line, which is just gonna be as the crow flies, it'll point you in the direction of that starting point and It'll show you the distance as you get closer, things like that. Next, we have courses. And with courses, you can actually create these within the Garmin Connect app and then upload them to your watch. So if you have multiple points you wanna to go to, maybe on hiking, hunting, something like that, you can put those into your Garmin Instinct 2, and then you'll be able to follow that course using the navigation feature. After that, we have activities. And with these, you can repeat activities. So maybe hikes you've done or runs. And then we have save locations here. So if I select save locations, I can go in here. So once in here, you can see all the different save locations that I have in my watch. This is where the naming and the icon can be important. I can select into that. And in here we can look at the details of it. So we can see the coordinates, elevation. We can see and edit the name, change the icon, change the position, elevation, and then delete it as well. But we also have the option to go to it. So this is where, if I go in here, you can see where it starts to point me in the direction of where I need to go. And this is gonna be similar to other activities where you have different data screens. So if I hit down, you can see all the different data screens where it's gonna show me my ETA, my distance until I get to where I'm going. Also your speed, things like that, normal activity information, my HR, things like that. And these can all be edited by hitting the menu button. You can stop the navigation and you can also go into navigation settings. So from the map here, if we wanna zoom in or zoom out, all we need to do is hit the up button and then go to pan and zoom right here. So this will let us zoom out. We can see how far away we are. We can see that that is about eight miles away. If I hit the GPS button up here, I can then go to where I can pan up and down and right and left. So if you need to navigate and look at the map a little bit better, you can do that using pan and zoom. So the maps on the Garmin Instinct 2 are pretty primitive. They don't contain any information about the actual location, such as elevation, points of interest, things like that, roads. You're not gonna get the same information that you would get out of maps on a 4Runner 955 or a Phoenix 7, something like that. So going back to navigation here, under saved locations, we have Sight and Go. And this is where you point your watch in the direction you want to navigate to, and it will kind of lock on to something and then make that where you're headed. So it'll navigate you to that point and just keep you going in that direction basically, which could be useful if you saw like a mountain or a river or something you wanted to navigate to. You could use that and it would help you get there. Additionally, we have coordinates and this is where you can enter in custom coordinates on your watch and then that will be saved as a save location and you can navigate to that in the future. All right, so that's gonna be everything under navigation. 
on the Garmin Instinct. One last thing I want to show you is going to be Track Me right here. So this is an activity on the watch, and if you open it up, it's going to start gathering GPS, and then this will just record your location as you're walking or hiking without actually running an activity, so it's not going to save any of your like step information, things like that. It's just going to save exactly where you were on the map. And then you can access this later either on your watch to see where you walked or in the Garmin Connect app to see where it tracked you on a map. All right, so that was a quick overview of the maps and the navigation features on your Garmin Instinct 2. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Garmin Instinct 2 tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Engaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.